Happy Valentine's Day! It's 8.45 a.m. on Valentine's Day. Also, it's my great-grandmother's birthday. Happy birthday, Granny. Bo Peep. <laughs> Miss Mary Brown. Yeah, I wish I could see her. She's funny. She's one of my favorites. She's like 4 foot 9, 4 10. Tiny, tiny lady in her 70s. And she's just so sweet and so funny. I love my granny. But this is going to be a makeup tutorial, of course. It's Valentine's Day, so I thought I would do one last one for the road. Um, yesterday was Galentine's, and I went with my roommate to get my nails done, which you guys know about that if you saw my most recent video before this one. And this is what I got. They are red with, like, glitter, and then, like, the accent nail has, like, pink and red and silver glitters to it. And um, this is something I normally wouldn't do, but I decided to go with the theme of the holidays and be all lovey-dovey red and pink and silver. So I like them. I'm drinking my green tea so I don't get sick. I had a couple days where I was feeling kind of low and down, but I think I'm on the come up. So let's go ahead and get started. I think today, do I want to use my cushion foundation? I don't know. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use my cushion foundation or if I wanted to use the Pro Matte Infallible. I do have to work today. So I don't want to be super duper oily, but I kind of want to be glowy and luminous. I just have to touch up so much with this one because it is supposed to be a luminous foundation. So let's go with Pro Matte Infallible. I haven't worn that one in a while. Do I even have it up here? Doo -doo. Let's see. I thought I had it up here. I'm going to move my computer real quick. Did it fall down? Oh, goodness. Well, these two fell down. <laughs> That's not what I want to wear today. Maybe it's in my drawer. Yo, where did it go? Maybe it's in my bag from when I did that program. I bet you it's in here. I'm so unorganized, y'all. Yeah, it's in here. All right. So I have the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible in... 112 Cocoa, the darkest shade. And this is a 24 hour wear mattifying foundation. I've already cleansed my skin. Ooh, my tummy. And I've primed it using my favorite primer from Cover FX. Their mattifying primer with acne treatment. I'm just going to apply dots all over my face. We'll do half just to see. A color comparison. Ignore this thing on my cheek. Not even sure what it is. Of course, I'm going to blend this out. Using one of my favorite brushes to blend out foundation. If you hear any noise, it's my roommate's. On both sides. Oh no, she used to sleep still, I think. But in the other room next to me, they were kind of loud last night, as usual. I can like always hear them in all their conversation. But it doesn't really bother me that much. It certainly does wake me up, though. But I always go back to sleep.
I'm just blending this in. This foundation is really long wearing. And I like the color of it. It goes with my skin pretty decently. And it's like a medium colored. You can still see some of my imperfections shining through. Shining, shining. But yeah, you can see this one isn't nearly as warm as some of, as some of my other foundations. It actually is a pretty decent match, which is why I like it. So we're doing one thin layer. And then I'm going to go in and add more on my cheek area where I need more coverage. Yeah, I love the finish of this foundation. And the lasting power. I already know the eye look I want to do. I'm just not sure if I want to do... Well, I guess I'll do a red lip for church. I don't know. At work, they said that we can wear pink shirt, jeans, and tennis shoes. But I wanted to wear the same red skirt I wore yesterday. If you saw my Galentine's pictures with my roommate Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I got this pink, this red, this black and red skirt with rose like petals on it. It's really pretty. So I wanted to wear that to church this morning. But that means I'd have to bring clothes to change into for work and change my lipstick color for work. Which I might do. I'm in a good mood. And who doesn't want to wear jeans to work? Like, especially when you're not supposed to. I basically have to dress like a teacher when I work at JCPenney, which I enjoy. So I'm just going to go in with a second layer in the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. A little bit more on the cheek and the chin, basically where I have most of my scars. And we can still see my birthmark shining through. I'm cool with that. We will leave my birthmark how it is. And a little bit more on the lip. I don't really have under eye circles, so I'm kind of avoiding that area. But yeah, I really do like this foundation. I was kind of having a love-hate relationship with it. Because I thought the color was off. And then I tried it again and I was like, no, the color is really good. For me. So I'm kind of blending it out and then stippling.
So now everything is pretty much covered. And as you can see, the finish of this, it dries um, down dry, like it doesn't really transfer when it dries completely, like 100% all the way. So we really don't even really need to set this with the powder, which is one reason I really do love this foundation. It's, it's good. But um, I guess I'll use a little bit of powder. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush and I'll take a little bit of my Black Radiant powder since I really love those powders. This is my beauty blender, didn't even use it. I'm like so unorganized. Sorry guys, this is going to take longer than I want to because I'm so unorganized. It's because I did that makeup thing and I took all my makeup and like packed it up. So nothing is where it would normally be. <laughs> Literally. At least I know what I'm using on my eyes already. What palette I'm going to use. Okay, so I have a little bit of bronze glow left, and this is um, a Black Radiance pressed powder. I have quite a few that have a little bit left in it. So we're going to use some bronze glow. As you can see, I've hit pan. I love these Black Radiance powders. I just picked up four more recently. But I can still get some out of here. So we'll use this. I'm using this to set the foundation as usual focusing in the areas where I get most oily Nine o'clock. I've been really, really tired lately. Like, I don't know, this semester has just been kind of killing me. And I was like, oh, it's going to be easier and smooth and all these other things. Like, I didn't think it was going to be as much as it has been. But it's been like really exhausting and physically draining. Literally. I'm just taking some more bronze glow from another one that I hit pan on. I don't like wasting products, so I'm just trying to get it all out. I have a couple Valentine's Day posts planned. 
that are um, biblical based. I might make a video about the Bible verses that I'm choosing to talk about. It's kind of blunt, straightforward. We all know kind of some of the activities that happen on Valentine's Day. I used to participate in those activities, but no longer. Not me. My sister, I think it was my sister who sent me this funny picture called, um, or was it my roommate? It, was, it might have been Liz. He sent me this funny picture that said, Happy Valentine's A to those who aren't getting the V or the D, and I thought that was hilarious. And I sent it to my mom, and my mom said, LOL. She was like, you're not the only one. There's thousands out there. I was like, you're hilarious. Because it had no D or V. Valentine's A, you get it? You get it? I thought that was hilarious. Hilarious. But yeah, I have like totally hit pan with this powder, so I'm just trying to get what I can get. So like I said, this foundation doesn't really even need to be set. Alright. So I guess I'll take these with me because I really do need to use them up so I can throw them away as much as I can. Let's get on to the exciting part. Let's do the eyeshadow and I'll come back to the face. I love the way this foundation looks. It looks really good. Alright. So for the eyes today, I'm going to be using my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This eye look was inspired by one of my co-workers that I used to work in Sephora with, Anthony. He was wearing a specific shade from this palette on his eyes, and I loved the way that it looked. So I'm going to copy him, which he's used to. But I'm going to do it just slightly different, I think. I don't know, the same different. I don't know. So the shade he had on his eyes was the dark black glittery shade all the way over here. And it looked really pretty. It kind of looked gray with glitter. And I just really like that. Um, but it wasn't as dark as he wanted it. But I kind of liked the color that he had on his eyes. So I'm going to... And he said that he wet his brush a little bit. So we're going to do exactly what he told me he did. Let me get a brush. So I'm going to spray this brush with a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray just so it's um, a little bit damp if I can find mine somewhere in this mess and un unorganized piles. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. We're going to spray the brush. And this is an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I'm just going to spray both sides. <laughs> Smells good. I'm just going to kind of massage that into the bristles so that they're lightly dampened. And like I said, we're going to go in with the shimmery black shade right down here. The one furthest to the right on the top row. And we're going to apply that to our lid. Oh, now I see what he means. He said that it looked kind of blue to him. I can see what he means. So we're obviously going for a little bit more of a darker eye today. It's just really pretty though. And you just want to take this all over your lid, stopping right at the crease.
like so. Yeah, I can see what he means about it having kind of like a bluish tint to it. That's really pretty though. So now for the other eye. Applying this all over the lid with a dampened brush. Stopping at the crease. And my brush already dried out that fast. I don't want it to be too, too, too damp. But it needs to be a little damp. So that should help it out. Yeah, see, it's coming off kind of blue on camera. Yeah, I see what he means by it looks kind of blue, but I like it. We're going to roll with it. I love this palette. You can do so many looks with it. We were talking about how versatile it is. Like when I travel, it's just the palette I grab. One of them that I love to grab. I might wear this look tomorrow. So that's how we're looking right now. A little crazy, but it's okay. So that's how that should look. So now we're going to go in the crease of the outer V and I'm going to use black and I'm going to use the black from this palette and I'm going to use a smaller brush a smaller fluffier brush to do this and this is a, <laughs> a matte black shade so we're going to apply a little bit and build it up and kind of smoke out and intensify these eyes so I'm really going to focus this right in the crease for now, like right on the edge of the glittery shadow. So as you can see, I'm staying pretty close to the crease because I'm going to use a brown to blend it out. And we're bringing it almost all the way in. As you can see, it looks quite gray right now. But trust me, we are going to get right. So that's how it should be looking now. And I'm staying really close, as you can see, I'm staying really close in that socket area. We do not want to shake this matte black up too high. That would be a disaster. Oh me, oh my. <laughs> so that's how I should be looking. We should be looking real cray cray. I know, I look. Mm -mm. No girl, we're not going to stop here. Okay. Excuse me, my nose. So after you have that, now it's time to take a bigger, fluffier brush. 
make sure it's got no dark colors on it. If it has some brown on it or you know a little bit of brown glitter, that's okay. But now we're gonna take um I wonder how this will look on my skin. Let me swatch real quick. Nope, we don't want that. We're gonna take this shade right here, which is a matte kind of caramel color, cam caramel brown, caramel, caramel. And we're gonna use that to start to blend out the black right over top. I'm applying the shadow right over the top of that black and blending. This is going to act as a transition color. And like I said, I'm going right over top of the black with this shade. Just soften it up, blend it out. And see how that kind of softened it up a little bit. Soften up the harshness, really blend out that crease. We don't want it to go up too high though, which is why I'm using a very light kind of caramel shade. Really like blend like crazy, like I'm really going in, kind of applying a lot of pressure to blend out the black. Like so. And now with the same brush, I'm going to add a deep matte brown. I'm going to use this cool tone brown over here. Um, it's the next to the last shade on the bottom, the matte brown. I'm take a little bit of that. It is very dark. And we're going to go into the crease with it. Just to deepen it up more, define it some more. It's not quite black, but it is very, very dark. I'm really focusing this on the outer part of the eye, as you can see, not taking it too far in. This is to help build up the smokiness on the outer corners, outer V area. Now I'm taking this brush into the matte black just to really deepen up the outer V. This look isn't exactly the most church friendly look, you know, black smoky eye, but That's what I was feeling. As you can see, that glitter is still like very much on the center of the lids, which is exactly what I wanted. And basically, you're just kind of shaping your eye, winging it out, blending until you get the desired shape and look that you want for your eye. Add a little bit more brown over here. And 
like so. So now it's time to work on the bottom lash line. Yeah. So that's what the lid is looking like. If you want to go in and add more of that glittery black, go ahead. I might add just a little bit. A little bit of it to the inner two-thirds of the eye. Really close to on the lid area. And we'll just use the same brush and apply this color to your bottom lash line. Like I said, we're having really dark, intense eyes. And I want the glittery shade all over the bottom lash line. Okay, like so. Now what I'm gonna do is take um, a Sephora shadow in Silver Strike to highlight the inner corner of my eye. To highlight the tear duct area. Uh, hopefully you guys can probably hear my stomach growling. It's hungry. What else is new? Oh, well, this is what the shadow looks like. Just a really pretty silver. Silver strike is what it's called. I'm taking this little small brush. And we're going to... these inner corners. Has it really already been 32 minutes? I don't feel like I've been doing my makeup that long. But this is a glittery black smoky eye look. I'm sure y'all can hear that. Continue on with eyeshadow. So I'm just highlighting my inner corner still. Ugh, I got some a little too low. I hate when that happens. college. So I'm just kind of wiping that away. You may have glitter on your face. I don't really care about that. All that type stuff. Alright, so now we have like the shadow part done. I'm going to look in the hand mirror straight on to make sure that I like it. And I do. So now it's time to move on to eyeliner. This is very bold eye look. So I'm going to tight line with black and I'm going to use my perversion. Urban Decay perversion liner if I can find it. In the midst of everything that I have up here. 
think this is it. Yep. Perversion. And we're going to put this in the lower water line, something I rarely ever do. Especially with black. But because this is a dark black glittery smoky eye. See his name on my nose. And my ashy hand. Because I wash them so much. Put that in the water line, of course, now the tears. And the upper water line, which is always hard for me to do. It's so hard for me to do it. But it looks so good when you do. No tears. No, you can't mess up. Alright, so try and do the best that you can to get in there. Okay, that's all. That's all I can do. And I am going to use my Kat Von D. Tattoo Ink Liner in Trooper. If I can find that. Got it. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> okay. Eyeliner. And I'm making a super thin um, wing line. Can y'all see my tiny wing? Oops. I missed. Of course I would mess it up. Okay, so we're making like a really tiny wing. I want it to be long and skinny. Hopefully you guys can see that. And do you see how that adds to the look? And I kept it really, really close. I didn't even lie on the complete top of my eye. Hopefully I can get the other side to match. You guys know I don't really do wing eyeliner, eyeliner like that. Of course, my left eye tends to be more watery than my right eye. Oh, 
but we're gonna try and do the same really skinny thing. Here we go, we're trying to smooth it out. There we go. All right, so. I think that's it for my wings. Yes, I like it. And of course, add mascara. I'm not going to do that on camera because this video is already way too pretty long. So let's move on to finishing up the face. Because the eyes are so glittery, I really like the matte finish that my skin has. So I'm not going to wear any highlight. But I do think that because my eyes are so intense that I do need to add a little bit of contour and shadow and depth to my face. And we'll do a blush. So to contour today, I'm going to use kind of whatever's closest. We're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360. And I'm using my favorite brush that I always use from BH Cosmetics. And I'm basically pressing right up against my cheekbone. And dragging it down and forward. And I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead as we can all see how big it is. So I'm literally just going to brush some powder along the perimeters. I kind of want a Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit. I might go get one. I think I'll have time to. I'm running ahead of schedule for once. So can y'all see the difference that made, made me doing that to my forehead? And let's do the other. Being a weirdo, like I am. All 
And of course, everyone's face shape is different. Everyone may contour different. This is what I like to do. You don't have to do what I do. Everything I do is literally just a suggestion or guideline. It's not law. I love telling people that. There are no rules to makeup. Look at this atrocity. What is that? I'm so over adult acne. You need to see how that just how this just added a little bit more to the face. Some more dimension. Some more everything. And look what I was left over I'm gonna take under my chin. All of a sudden, there's just a group of people outside being really loud. And of course, I'll blend that out when I apply my blush, but I kind of like it the way it looks. And for the nose, of course. So I'm taking a little bit more of this 360 powder. You're gonna apply some to the nose, the sides of the nose. Like I said, I'm just going to church. Well, actually, I'm probably gonna go to Bohanglas. And then I'm gonna go to church. <laughs> and then I have to work 1 to 6 p.m. today. Yes, come through, contour. And I'm really getting that nose, um, the sides of it. So I did something I normally don't do, the contour work, and just to add some dimension to the face, because I'm not gonna do any highlighting. I'm just going over the perimeters of my hair. Like so. And now we're gonna add some blush and I probably shouldn't use this brush because it has some highlight on it but I'm just gonna kind of dust whatever's on here off but I really like this brush for applying highlight and for applying blush and let's use my Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. And I'm gonna use something on the more neutral side, one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna use this color right here. It's like a muted rosy pink color. It's really, really pretty. And it's matte. So I'm gonna focus that right on the apple and then brush it back. and make sure that I kind of blend it with the contour. Right, so now that we've got that blush on there, as you can see, it's a little strong, you know, but that's okay. All you have to do is take the brush that you use for your powder, 
to set your foundation powder or your foundation brush and just go over it if you would like to tone it down. I kind of like the way it looks, how it is. Alright, so for this look I'm going to do two lip colors um, because I'm probably going to end up changing before I go into work. So, actually I might wear both my outfits at work. I might wear my heels and when I'm wearing to church until my feet start to hurt too bad. And then I might change into my jeans and my pink blouse and more comfortable shoes. But I'm loving the eyes and I think this is starting to get it, help it come together having the contour and the blush do y'all feel me without if we cover the brows do you feel this fierceness that we have going on the valentine's day fierceness yeah this video is way too long and i have makeup on my hair on the knots and my braids okay so two lip colors i'm gonna do a red lip and I want a glossy red lip, so I'm probably going to wear NARS Red Lizard with some NYX lip gloss over top. Um, and I don't remember the color, but NYX Red lip gloss over the top. And then later today, I'm going to wear a pink. I'm not sure what kind of pink I'm going to do. Do I want to do a light pink? Do I want to do a deeper pink? So if you want to find out and see the completed look with the pink, you'll have to check me out on my Snapchat or my Instagram today but I'll go ahead and show you guys the red lip I want to do after I dig to find this lipstick as usual I'm so unorganized <sighs> Actually, the pink lip I'm going to wear today, later today, is going to be, um, what is this called? Exorcism, probably, from Kat Von D. That's going to, that's a contestant. It's kind of like a deeper purpley pinkish color. It's pretty. And it might be a contestant. Or possibly, what the heck? Or possibly Beeper from ColourPop. I like that one. So I'm gonna use color. I don't know, I have too many options. Um, but as of right now, I'm gonna wear. Where is it? Oh, that's a vampire. Y'all, I'm so unorganized. This is a long video. This is one of my longest ones in a while, but true. That's true to who I am. <laughs> Here it is. This is NARS Red Lizard. I love this red. I'm pretty sure this is like a matte, it's a matte lipstick. 
This is actually lipstick I wore at Honda. Because it doesn't go anywhere. It's very matte, very long wearing. Highly pigmented goodness. Oh my gosh, look at this. What is this? NARS Red Lizard and the lip gloss I'm going to put on top of it is from NYX and it's one of the NYX Men Shine lip glosses in the color Plush Red. Oh gosh, and it's, it's almost empty. So if you guys like this look with matte skin, a glittery, smoky eye, contoured, chiseled face, and a glossy, red, juicy lip. I need to go. Obviously, I'm getting real silly. There's something wrong with me. I don't know, I'm in a good mood. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this super duper long tutorial. I'm going to apply mascara and put my brows on and that will complete the look with the red lip but if you want to see the pink lip like i said check me out on my social media again thank you for watching i know this is ridiculously long i really do appreciate your support you have a blessed valentine's day i hope you are going to church like i am and remember that if you feel if you're feeling unloved that god always loves you jesus loves you and i love you and you are loved and you're special and you are a goddess and with that, goodbye YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.